All right, now that we've joined the two subtools into one big sculpt, let's have some fun. I'm going to turn on polyframe here, and what I'm going to do is go to a thing called slice curve. Hit OK. And it gives you instructions right here on slice curve. Notice it's control shift. Okay, control shift. I'm just going to cut the head off this dude, and what I'm going to do is get to about right here and use alt. Anytime I click alt, I get a spline. Don't have to be too neat here, I'm just going to cut it off. I'm going to let go of all these keys. So right now I have shift, control, and then the left mouse button. I'm going to let go of all three. And what that did is made two separate subtools. You can see the color of the top one is like a yellow and the other one's pink. It's hard to see with the polyframe on, but because it's so high. We're going to take and group split these and hit OK. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the head. I'm going to clone it and append it back. And then I'm going to move one of these heads over. So I've got to take off symmetry to do this. Go to move tool. And I'm going to just move this over. I'm going to take the other head. Again, take off symmetry. And move that one over. Okay. Now I'm just going to rotate these a little bit. Like the other one, rotate, move, okay, now I'm just going to sink them into the neck region here a little bit, same with this one. Okay, looking at these at all angles, I can see I can move these back a little bit also. Cool. Now, let's go to the Move tool. I'm going to take off Polyframe and just kind of adjust this neck region so it blends a little bit better. I do this with a big, huge move brush. Now, providing how much time you take, this could be, you know, pretty detailed. But I don't want any of this extra stuff poking through. There we go. Now I'll fix the other one. I can see this being a huge boom for people that do the uh, rapid prototyping. You know, if you're doing those action figure things, very cool workflow, by the way. Highly, highly useful. Well, not making two-headed things, but I would say, you know, joining any two parts. You can use this as an example. Oops. Okay, that's pretty good. Good for the time we have. Let's adjust it just a little bit more. I'm going to take off symmetry here. All right, pretty cool. Two headed dude. Now what I'm going to do is join it all together into one giant piece. Okay, first, take the head, and we're going to clone it. Go to the neck, and insert it. Good. Now, do that with the other head. Clone it. 
go back to the neck and insert it. This is where ZBrush is going to have a heart attack. Or not do it. So let's uh, try that again. Clone. Head. Insert. There we go. Good. Okay. And all is well with 3D geometry land. So control, click and drag down. Pray. Now let's get rid of the others. Let's get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. And there's my two-headed dude. You can see what happened was it, it took that empty area and sealed it off. See? Now I could take the time to go in there and smooth it out a little bit. I'm not going to do this, but just know that you can do it, and it's not that hard. But, uh, yeah, it's there to smooth out. And you had a two-headed guy, and it blends quite well. All right. So that is Slice and Dice. Enjoy.